Hi all, welcome back to Fundamentals of Computer Networking. This is class 5. In this class, we are going to understand conversions between binary, decimal, hexadecimal. In last two classes, we understood uh, conversion between binary to decimal and decimal to binary. I hope you did some homework also. But in this class, we are going to understand how to convert uh, decimal to hexadecimal, binary to the hexadecimal. Uh, we bring hexadecimal format here. So before jumping into the hexadecimal uh, conversions, we have to understand the digits digits in hexadecimal digits in hexadecimal see we already mentioned in the day one class which is first class first or second class in number system there are 16 digits of the hexadecimal uh, the digits are uh, like a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that no so each we have something to say here each hexadecimal each hexadecimal digit each hexadecimal digit is equal to 4 bit binary ok 4 bits in binary so each hexadecimal digit if you take one hexadecimal digit that will be converts into 4 bits in decimal uh, in binary so let's take uh, let's take uh, 0 uh, 0 is one of the hexadecimal digit 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But we already mentioned that uh, we don't use uh, uh, 10. We instead of use 10, we use A, B, C, D, E, and F. These are the digits. So what I will go for? I will go for the box method to make you easy. I'll put the box. I divide into 4 bits uh, we know very well the place values 1 2 4 8 so we have something like this we just apply something like this to every uh, digit we'll apply the box so this is the easiest method to make you understand for anybody who are uh, new to this subject no for them it is very easy but for me it is very difficult to put a box uh, like this no So all are in the same color. Huh? I usually use multicolor. I don't like uh, to show in one color. I'll keep like this. And this looks okay. Now what I will do is let us apply here. Uh, let us apply zero. If you convert zeros into binary, all comes under zero only. You convert however you want. One. Uh, what combinations will make one? Here, this one. Two. Zero, zero. Zero, zero, one, zero. See, if you convert hexadecimal digit uh, into binary, it will be like this. If you convert hexadecimal three, will be like this. You are getting, no? So, zero, one, double, zero. Zero, one, zero, one. 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 double 0 and 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 double 1 
वन वन डबल जीरो सो वन वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन 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 सो दीज आर द हेक्सा डेसिमल डिजिट्स विच कन्वर्ट्स इनटू बाइनरी सिस्टम यू ऑल क्लियर फ्रॉम दिस नाउ व्हाट आई वांट इज इफ यू लुक एट हियर लेट्स टेक अ बाइनरी नंबर लेट्स टेक अ बाइनरी नंबर बाइनरी इन एट बिट्स ओके आई विल टेक बाइनरी इन एट बिट्स If you take binary in eight bits, uh, something like this: one zero one zero one one zero zero something. This is a binary number. If I convert uh, this decimal, uh, if I convert this number into decimal, how can I do that? I have to go that uh, method, right? What method? This is one twenty eight. This is thirty two. This is eight, and this is four. These are the place values, right? One twenty-eight is a place value. Uh, thirty-two, eight, four. One twenty-eight plus thirty-two, one sixty. One sixty plus one twenty-eight plus thirty-two, one sixty. One sixty plus twelve, right? So total one seventy-two. So one seventy-two is the decimal number here. Okay. If I want to convert this number, which this this binary number into hexadecimal, if I want to convert this number into hexadecimal, so we have to divide uh, into two parts. This is one part. Uh, this is another part. See what is the value one zero one zero. If you go to the table, look at one zero one zero. One zero one zero, which is a actually ten, uh, but uh, representing a, right? So we have to say a here. A. The next one zero, sorry one one zero zero, oh. one one zero zero. See what is this? C A C. If you put A C in hexadecimal, if you put one seventy two in decimal, or if you put one zero one zero one one zero zero. All are all equal numbers. This is binary. This is hexadecimal. This is decimal. These are the values. I hope you understand. Now let's take another number. Another number: zero, one, zero, 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 triple one. So this will be the value. If you look at this number, see. What is this number? How to convert into uh, decimal number? Sixty-four. Uh, four, two, one. So sixty-four plus four, sixty-eight. Sixty-eight plus three, seventy-one. So seventy-one is the decimal value here. Okay. So in this decimal, we have to convert to hexadecimal. We cannot directly convert, uh, or we cannot directly see or check. decimal to hexadecimal huh? not possible we have to go here we have to divide into two parts part 1 part 2 so the, in this part what we do is we select 0100 0, 0, 0 one so what is this number uh, 8421 4 right so this is 4 how 0100 0100 see 4 got it now 0111 uh, which is 747 What is this? Seven eight zero one one one. No, forty seven. It's actually not forty seven. Okay, we should not say forty seven. We should say four seven. No, four seven in hexadecimal. At some point of view, if you look at this picture, no. If you look at this alone, some point of view, seventy one is equal to forty seven. I cha. So seventy one is equal to forty seven. Which means seventy one is the decimal digits. Uh, this is hexadecimal digits. That's a major difference here. So sometimes it looks confused. Hey, what is this? Seventy one is equal to forty seven. Now, how it is possible? So that's why whenever we mention hexadecimal digits, uh, we should say base sixteen. 
we should mention base 16 whenever we we create decimal sorry binary digits uh, binary bits uh, we have to say base value base 2 base 16 uh, this is base 10 but usually we don't use we don't use base 10 for decimal why because when you write a number it's automatically decimal only okay whenever you see some number it is actually decimal number only you need not to mention the base value of decimal numbers but you must uh, mention base values for hexadecimals and binary I will show you one number tell me it is hexadecimal or decimal or what one zero uh, one zero or ten what is this number is it hexadecimal or is it decimal or is it binary hexadecimal decimal which number it is very difficult right very difficult to identify so what we do if I mention base 2 this is binary if I mention base 16 this is hexadecimal if I don't mention anything that is decimal that's all about number system uh, number system and conversions let's do some calculator uh, uh, binary calculator let's take binary calculator see here let's take our uh, example uh, 10 mm -hmm. we want different calculator mm. binary to binary to decimal calculator we have lot of things uh, octal text model. this is binary number what is the number here 1010 this is the number no yeah this is the number what is the decimal value if I convert into decimal 172 got it uh? this is 172 yeah we got it see this is a base 10 base 10 huh? try side base 10 now uh, what if I convert this into hexadecimal? Convert uh, one zero one zero one one double zero. Uh, convert. Click convert. You see AC base sixteen. You got it. So base sixteen is the uh, hexadecimal number. Uh, this is a decimal number. We have octal number also. I don't know. I really don't know. Pa. Octal number two fifty four. Uh, base 8 uh, octal octet means 8 octal 8 ok so good right so this way you can choose uh, you can choose some uh, double a uh, a a convert into binary uh, check a a uh, a a what is a a means 10 uh, 10 means 10 means 10 see here a a means 10 1010 right uh, if i put a a so there will be 1010 that will be the value shall we check 1010 see this is how it works you understand uh, if i go with uh, decimal convert hexadecimal to decimal uh, with the same uh, a a put click convert and you see 170 one zero one zero one zero one zero one that's a value so like this no like this uh, you can check the conversions properly whether uh, what you have done is right or wrong so use this table please take a notes of uh, of this uh, uh, whatever you learn here because notes only will make you perfect however it is useless pa. say at one point of view it is useless completely really in nowadays we have lot of advanced tools chat gpt a tools this calculator that calculator but if you are if you want to become master all this subject no you have to leave all this tool come out of this tool and start learning like your own by doing some practices by doing homework then only you will become master in the subject we see ultimately we have to do smart work we will we should not uh, uh, use 
smartness while learning we should do hard work to learn something once you learn then you use your smart work to Im in implementation okay uh, we will use our smartness in implementation we do hard work to learn something this is what i am following if you agree with this you can follow or if you have better any other met better method no because i am not telling that this is a only method this is one of the method if you are like me very poor guy very lazy guy lazy means uh, very poor to understand things at uh, st uh, uh, starting stage then you have to do like this only okay uh, thank you that's all for this class next class uh, i'm going to start some uh, nikad huh? we understand nikad to understand nikad we understand mac address we understand ip address and we will understand a lot of things huh? slowly Thank you. Uh, we'll see you in the next class. Bye.